All right, man. You got to listen. You got to listen close. All right? Listen closely to the terms, and then you got to listen to the numbers. Okay? Useless ether. Okay? You got to look it up. Get the definition. It's deep, and it's deeper than the paper. I'm trying to tell you. All right? Now we got this is a 10-page document. Okay? Executive Order 13603. March 16th, 2012. Okay, Barack Obama signed into law. You hear me? Signed into law. Executive order number 13603. Now, what does it mean? Well, the creative side of me uh, will explain word for word, but still poetically. But it states, and I quote, authorizes slavery again in the United States. Executive order number 13603. I need you to read this. Uh, gives the federal government the legal authority to force any person into de facto slavery so literally the president can designate any person to seize any resources any property for any reason to withhold all commodities down the water read the whole executive order they out of order throw out the constitution i guess you know what i'm saying <laughs> What is the re what is this a reset? Slave freer or uh buy a regret? Come on, man. I guess Obama didn't get the menu yet. You'll never be one of them, bro. Science and eugenics. The one drop rule. One ancestor of sub Saharan African considered black Negro. The implications, frankly, state that racial purity was a concept evolved in the nineteenth century. It became codified, a synonym, systematic, <laughs> and then into law in the early 20th century. And this is legal concept, and this only exists in the United States. Now, how is this? A legitimate question, so I'll answer it. It's blacksmith. <laughs> I'm just trying to keep it clean, but the bull s hit. Come on, let's run with it. Obama was told to sign this or be like Dr. Uh, Black Moses Martin Revolutheran. Be stuck with a uh, broke black in a mountain in Wyoming. Shoot, the storm is here. Bump coming. Obama and black men in so-called power, after they use you to round up all of us, they're going to round you up. Why well, sign a law that's ominous? The definition, take it upon yourself to look it up and break it up. Look at the etymology. It's demonology to dominate human psychology into trickery. Elijah Muhammad called it tricknology. Peace be upon he. However, with evil forces like these, let me ask a serious question. How can we get over par if you constantly undermine our achieve? Huh? With a hot plan to repeat. You're going to do it again. No reprieves. No amnesty. Pardon the uh, uh, supreme confidence that this executive order proves continuance of universal law being broken. I'm going to leave it at that. Creation Bear spoken. Peace. Creation Bear.